What's up, YouTube? Blood Rampage here, bringing you a game called Norman's Great Illusion. Um, this game is brought to us by Sometimes You. Thank you again. As usual, you give me a lot of great games. And, uh, Civil Savages as a developer. This game comes out the 19th of August of this year, 2020, on PC, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and Vita. Norman's Great Illusion. Have you ever wondered why individually good and peace-loving citizens merging into society allow the, uh, allow the coming to power of forces that have diametrically opposed their principles and goals? Norman's Great Illusion is our attempt to talk about this phenomenon. There are no battle royale modes, no microtransactions, no season pass, no loot boxes. This game is 18 plus, but there is no sexual content in it. The game is for quite intelligent conscious users. Uh, Norman's Great Illusion is a 2D pixel art visual novel in which you have to live a year as an engineer at the plant in the face of rising social tensions. Make difficult decisions, but keep in mind you will have to pay for each choice. If you do not distinguish between class struggle and sp uh, spiritual struggle, believe that imperialism is a confrontation of ancient empires and think that nothing could be better than capitalism, please do not buy our game. To all the rest, welcome. Features, difficult moral choices, seven different endings, two mini-games, and stylish pixel art graphics. Um, this game is somewhat similar to another one that I showed on here called uh, Need a Packet. It's got almost the same concept, shows everyday situations, real life situations in a sense. Uh, trying to bring some uh, acknowledgement to certain things. Uh, the game's fairly simple. It's got an interesting story about Norman going to his job. A lot of little things pop up here and there. Uh, the two mini games that they reference in this is the car driving one and these math mini games. Yes, you do have to do math. It's not that bad. It's nothing too crazy. Um, I do slip up a couple times just because I wasn't thinking because I'm stupid sometimes. Um, very simplistic game. Easy to get the platinum. I do already have the platinum, so you'll see this again whenever I get around. I forget what number this one is. 265, 266, something like that. Um, it's an interesting little game. I, I did three, I got three of the endings. Or, no, four of the endings. Uh, pretty much if you play through however you feel like playing, I'm sure you'll end up getting some of the endings. A lot of the trophies, there might be a couple that you won't get on your initial playthroughs or something, unless you, like, figure out to do it yourself. Um, there's one of them, like, it's failing the car minigame enough to where the car has to be repaired. Uh... There's just some other little things in it, but uh, it's got a very interesting narrative. It gives a whole bunch of different sides to certain things. Uh, I don't think it's that bad of a game. Like I said, it's got an interesting story behind it. So, if you like little things, I mean, th this game could be platinumed in 30 minutes. So, for all you platinum hunters, trophy hunters out there, this game will be ideal for you when it releases. So, definitely go for that. Um, if you're someone who just enjoys games with interesting stories and uh, real life scenario, like storytelling in a way, check this game out uh, too. Uh, again, thank you to Sometimes You and Civil Savages for letting me play this game. Feel free to continue watching. There's still about five, six minutes left of this game. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching this, so we'll see you guys next time. Thank you. 